Hello, my name is Ben Parr, co-editor of Mashable. Would you like to introduce yourself for our audience? My name is Loic and I'm a CEO and founder of Sismic. Can you tell everyone? And also some Twitter application. Some Twitter application. Which that, is on uh, web, on desktop, on Android, on Blackberry, on iPhone yesterday, on uh, Windows Phone tomorrow, everywhere. Uh, so a couple questions and we'll start off with uh, what did you think of Chirp so far? It's, uh, it's really cool and uh, you know what? Fuck you naysayers. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, Twitter is rocking and there was a uh, trust question for the last few days mm -hmm. and this is all bullshit. Let's Twitter, let's... Twitter is going to be huge and there is a lot here for developers. Well, let's dig in that, to, into that a little bit. So um, people, there are developers, uh, they were maybe a little bit less so after yesterday, but still worried about uh, Twitter is going to take over their business model or compete with them directly. Um, what do you have to say for that and how do you think Twitter can avoid that kind of uh, issue with its developers in the future. So we have one of the best, I would say, Android clients. And they just announced that there was an Android client coming. So, you know, there was bad news, actually. If you look at so that, uh, the iPhone, obviously, we have uh, one which is coming. We have a BlackBerry direct competition. They hinted at URL shorteners. They will do, they, I don't have that. But so, yeah, there were a lot of bad news. But I think, um, there was a sign for us which we had the highest number of tweets ever posted on Cispeak Web yesterday, same day. And we're directly competing with Twitter.com and it's been, you know, since the beginning. So I think we can, you know, be different, differentiate. Of course, one is the uh, multiple services support and we announced our platform so you can cut a plugin for Cispeak. Mm -hmm. That's on the desktop and hundreds of services should be integrated pretty soon. So, I think we'll be safe, and I think what developers should do is, you know, just just be awesome with what they do, but also uh, change their name if they have tweet something in it mm -hmm. as an emergency. And I'm happy we don't. Um, and and I think it's just you know safe safety, and also not not rely entirely on Twitter. This is just you know entrepreneurship. Um, basics to not rely only on one platform, and we've been doing that with Ping FM, 40 plus networks, uh, and, and the platforms. Um, so you did uh, yell out a little bit yesterday uh, during a chirp about there's still opportunity. Can you talk a little bit about what opportunities you think developers uh, should be seizing upon within the Twitterverse and the larger landscape? In general, yeah. Well, I, I think the uh, our opportunity is nice. I'm going to start <laughs> with this one. It's about helping, it's about putting the, a person in the center, like you. We want to help you share on social networks. And we don't care about which social network, we only care about you. So you want a following on Twitter, but you know what? If you meet brands, they love Twitter, but it's not enough. They actually want fans on Facebook. They actually want following on Google Buzz. Soon. They want, you know, everywhere. They want a group on LinkedIn and so on. They want a following on, on YouTube. Nobody talks about YouTube as a social network, but I have, you know, a few thousand people there, and, and a few thousand. <laughs> yeah, do I look like? Yeah, <laughs> sorry. And but it's it's really really useful to actually be everywhere if you if you want to promote a brand, whether it's your brand or just you know a brand, you need to be everywhere, and I think that's going to be a very nice opportunity, just because it's a pain. So I'm solving a pain. Working on solving a pain, it's to manage all that stuff. It's very key. So that's one. Then, obviously, all the vertical uh, companies such as um, Stock Tweets, and um, it should change its name. <laughs> <laughs> his advice: change your name. Hey, Howard. No, I don't, Howard doesn't need any advice. Uh, he's rocking. But yeah, every vertical, great. Um, I think the uh, content will will be very interesting too. Like if you think about the uh, um, all the news we're consuming. You know about news, right? Yeah. The news we're consuming, it's changing completely. It's moving from, you know, like going into a portal, going into going into a site, into, you know, you know, just getting some snippets and picking what's your interest, what you think is interesting. And so I think the way we consume news is completely changing. And there are a lot of opportunities uh, in, in, in that space. The last one is e-commerce, obviously. Blippi is one, but uh, we have not scratched the surface. And in Sismic Desktop Platform, you could, for instance, read all the uh, stream for a, uh, an Amazon product or a book and show the cover and buy it right there. Same with movies. Flickster could do, will do a plugin 
where you have the video preview and when you click on it, you can buy a ticket. CVC is on scratch, this is totally new. Okay, last question is, what can we expect? Uh, anything you want to reveal for us? What's going to be coming next for season? Come on. Uh, we've announced a lot. I'm, I'm not even sure what's coming. <laughs> but, no, but today we have news, it's, it's, which you haven't talked about. So I'm right. just, just trying to. But the, uh, the platform, it's, uh, you know, that, that's what's going to happen. That's going to be our, uh, our point of interest because we, it's basically incredible that I think that we rewrote entirely Sysmic Desktop into a core which even Twitter, Facebook and LinkedIn are plugins in. So you could change the way we integrated Twitter. You could remove you know, anything in one feed. So if you want to, don't want to hear about, say, South by Southwest when South by Southwest happens, I love South by Southwest, but you can filter that. You could do a plugin to filter that. And we're going to uh, focus a lot on that. And we're developers, so we want developers to succeed. And we received 600 requests for SDKs. So we're very excited about it. And apart from that, news coming. Uh, more networks for sure I mean as I said I'm not you know like I say I, I say we shouldn't be worried and I, I don't think I look too depressed today but like yesterday people looked at me like if I was if I had someone dead in the family <laughs> and and I think it's you know yet you have to be safe and to be safe you have to integrate more services so yeah we're looking we already have status.net in, in some products we're looking at Google Buzz LinkedIn is an untapped opportunity it's huge LinkedIn and you know it's not only about showing the stream think about the headhunters on LinkedIn right they work in this thing my, my uh, biz dev person Andrew spends his day in LinkedIn and this is untapped, so lots of opportunities, just the beginning. I don't think it's about Twitter, I think it's about the growth of status updates as a new way to consume the news and keep in touch with your friends, and the, the, the fun has only begun. I, I think that's a perfect way to end this. Thank you very much, Louis. Thank you, Ben. And by the way, you're taller. I know, I got a little bit taller. I've been eating my uh, vegetables. All right, now that's it. <laughs> <laughs> it's been pretty magical. Thanks, Ben.